Welcome to the Friday evening edition of Weather for Weather Geeks, everyone. Uh, we'll take a kind of a deep dive into the weekend forecast. We'll take a look at next week's temperature trends as well. This will be a pretty brief video because we don't have any big impact weather coming our way anytime real soon. But we do have plenty of interesting things to talk about, including overall just a big week of improvements. Now, at this time last Friday evening, we, we were talking about accumulating snow. It was going to be a cold weekend. Um, but daylight saving time kicked in on Sunday and kind of just right on cue Mother Nature kind of cooperated with uh, The return of daylight saving time being kind of a signpost of spring and then right away It got very spring like this week with temperatures in the afternoon in the 50s Monday and Tuesday 60s on Wednesday and today we hit a high of 71 which matched uh, Yesterday's high and when you factor in the highs and lows, we're now 4.6 degrees warmer than average through the first 18 days of the month of March. We're going to rack up a pretty good surplus in the temperature department before a cooler end of the month. But before that cooler pattern during the last five to seven days of the month, yeah, uh, I think we're going to end up, uh, you know, somewhere in the neighborhood of six or seven degrees warmer than average before that cooler air pushes in and knocks some of those numbers down. But it looks like a guarantee at this point that March will go into the record books as a warmer than average month. All right, uh, the radar this evening as of this recording about 7 p.m little light green. Most, if not all of this, is not quite reaching the ground just yet. Maybe a couple of sprinkles. That is about it for now, but that'll change as we head deeper into the evening and this more legit rain pushes in. It's been raining for a couple of hours in Columbus and up towards Mansfield and heading east on I-70 through the Zanesville area over towards Cambridge. And uh, we're going to get wet certainly uh, around the Mahoning and Shenango Valleys by mid-evening. That'll be important for anybody who's out celebrating, uh, continuing to celebrate St. Patrick's Day uh, this evening. Uh, I know there's a pretty good crowd again downtown Youngstown, and uh, anybody who's out and about uh, will have to duck inside as we go into the mid-evening. This is all part of a low-pressure system that's spinning across the lower Ohio Valley. You'll notice a couple of lightning strikes across central and north-central Ohio. I can't totally rule out a rumble of thunder around here tonight. No severe weather is expected. Uh, there's been some severe weather today in parts of the deep south down towards the I-10 corridor uh, in northern parts of Florida, southern Georgia, southern, uh, southern Alabama as well. For us, our steady period of rain lasts a couple of hours. It's gone. And then we'll get into a dry slot for a good chunk of the night. I do think there'll be a reemergence of showers. And again, maybe a rumble of thunder uh, before daybreak Saturday morning, mostly say between oh, 5 a.m. and 7 a.m. on average. But then as we get into the daylight hours tomorrow, I think there can be some sunny intervals for a while. And it's still going to be pretty mild. In fact, very mild outside during the first half of the day Saturday. We'll start out with temperatures in the mid-50s. Average high at this time of the year is in the upper 40s. So yeah, very balmy start to the day. And then as uh, the cold front rolls through, our shower chances will start to increase again as we get into the afternoon. Temperatures will start to fall, so the high Saturday is probably right around midday. And then just kind of a damp and brisk and chilly second half of our Saturday. Now, it's still not going to be bad temperature-wise compared to average, but you have to keep in mind, of course, we've gotten a little bit used to late April or May-like warmth over the last few days. So this... When it's 50 and trying to rain and the breeze is noticeable, it's going to be pretty chilly feeling outside Saturday evening. Trough of low pressure then pivots through late Saturday night, Sunday morning, first thing Sunday morning. A couple of residual rain showers, maybe a wet snowflake or two. If you're sleeping in Sunday morning, you won't notice any more precipitation by the time you're up and about. In fact, the sun's going to break out pretty quickly in the afternoon, bright end of the day. A little bit of a chill in the air, certainly, but hey, still lower 50s uh, for March the 20th is not bad at all. Clear sky then for Sunday night, and partly to mostly sunny and beautiful coming up on Monday. Temperatures this weekend again, falling temperatures on Saturday. 52 our high water mark on Sunday. That may be pretty late in the afternoon. Temperatures may struggle to rise through the 40s until the clouds break early to mid-afternoon on Sunday. Now compared to the average, even though next week will not be as warm as this week, we're still going to be a handful, several degrees warmer than the average for daytime highs through Thursday. But a different flavor, certainly by next weekend. As a cold front rolls through late next week, I do think next weekend will, will be distinctly different than this weekend. Uh, even though, again, there'll be a chill in the air at times this weekend, especially during the late afternoon and evening hours. Uh, next weekend, we may struggle to get out of the 40s for a couple of days next weekend. And our average by next weekend is in the lower 50s. So that's a legit, uh, you know, chilly air mass uh, heading into that final weekend of March and maybe uh, the first couple of days of the following week as well. 
But until then, hey, uh, above average, we will get wet at times during midweek. We've got pretty elevated rain chances in our forecast, especially Tuesday night and into Wednesday. Get the forecast anytime on the Storm Tracker 21 app. Thanks for watching Weather for Weather Geeks tonight and this week. Have a great Friday night. Have a great weekend. I'll see you right back here on Monday.